of a mortgage hurts the economy because students are less likely to spend money. Well, you were about to see what some might say may be a fairly unattractive dog. Well, the local pooch is about to compete for that very title and wants it, but as Color Report Sarah Zahn shows us, her so-called ugly is a thing of beauty and inspiration. Faith is a seven-year-old Jack Russell Terrier that's a little hard on the eyes. Her head gets scabs on it. It's very crusty. She has ears that look like they've been chewed. We're not quite sure how that happened. And her owner says that's just the start. An autoimmune disease affects almost every inch of her appearance. Um, she's missing 11 teeth, and her poor little toenails are real brittle, and they're they're kind of messed up. Like she has long toenails and then little short toenails, and they're kind of brittle. But Kelly Davis Beckley says the ugliest part of her dog is the tail. Long on energy, short on hair. Little Faith was almost out of luck, about to be put down at an animal shelter when Kelly spotted her. When you initially, you know, look at her, obviously on the outside she's pretty ugly, but she stole my heart. Faith may soon become the most famous ugly dog in the world. She's headed to the world's ugliest dog competition in California at the end of the month. We're hoping that Faith wins, fingers crossed. But Faith is already famous for her unfortunate looks. She's the inspiration for a children's book called Faith, the Ugly Dog. Teaching kids the most important beauty is on the inside. A lesson Faith taught her owner and author Kelly when she fought a battle with cancer. You know, I'd look in the mirror every day and I was bald and, and I would look at myself and say, wow, you're ugly. And then I thought, you know, it doesn't really matter what you look like on the outside. Look at Faith, because all that matters is what's good on the inside. Because what Faith lacks in beauty, she outdoes other dogs in love. Theron's on Como 4 News. And I think she's cute. Kelly says she will donate 10% of book sales to the Seattle Children's Hospital and 10% are going to go to the Humane Society. That's kind of how you feel about me with all 